Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading, and I am using the newly released Shadow and Light Oracle by Selena Moon, and this is from Rockpool Publishing, one of my favorite publishers, and uh, this is a truly amazing deck. If you'd like to purchase this deck, click the link down below in the description box, and you will be able to purchase the deck. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. You may use this as a blended reading for the beginning, middle, and end of the week, or you could use it as a pick-a-card reading, one, two, or three, for your special message. At the beginning of the week, I'll take the top card, or if you've chosen card number one, middle of the week, or card two, I will take the center card, and at the end of the week, or card three, I will choose the bottom card. Okay, and let's stand these up better. Okay, and the beginning of the week, we have card number 11 for those of you who follow numerology. And this is advice. Listen. Okay, and it's a beautiful, gentle energy uh, coming from this entire deck of cards. And if you want to see the review of these cards, just click the playlist link um, on my channel here. And that's going to take you to um, a lot of card deck reviews. And this card is saying is, you know, when someone is experiencing hardships, we often like to offer our support in the form of coming up with solutions for them. However, this rarely makes them feel any better. And likewise, if you're having some issues and people try to suggest solutions, you might feel even more agitated. I mean, I know I've been there. Sometimes I just want someone to let me, you know, vent to. You know, I'm not asking for them to fix my problems or fix my life. I just want someone that, you know, will listen and, and empathize with me. Um, and, you know, we feel agitated when people are, you know, just offering us, you know, a solution just like that. I know I've been there. Um, and it's because deep down inside, you've already thought about the different solutions. You already know what action you will eventually take. But right now, you just want to let the painful emotions flow out of you and, you know, relieve some of this pressure and release some of the pain. And for the pain to go away, you want to feel heard. You want people to understand what you're feeling and you need your feelings to be validated in this vulnerable situation. It is the same for other people, too. They might not want to hear your advice right now. They might just want you to listen to them. So this card is, in, is encouraging you to stop and think before you offer a solution to anybody or when you're being offered solutions. When it comes to helping others, think about what they are saying and listen carefully before replying. You know, are they asking you for advice? Um, did they ask you to offer any suggestions on how to resolve their issue or did they perhaps not ask anything at all? If they didn't ask, it's highly likely that what they need is empathy. Okay, if it makes you feel frustrated when other people are trying to help you through giving advice, think about what it is you would like from them and try to express that beforehand so they know how they could best help you. And then in the middle of the week, or if you chose card number two, it is gratitude and indulgence. And this is card number 36 for those who follow numerology. And what this card is basically saying is gratitude is, you know, one of the best concepts to practice in order to live a happy and fulfilled life. You know, it's easy to become lost in indulgence and try to acquire more and more, be it more things, more friends, more money, more fame. You know, that's the ego that wants more and more and more. And believe me, the ego is never satisfied. You could be happy with less. To me, as I get older, I realize less is more. Uh, when we're in stuck in the indulgence mode, we often fail to see and appreciate what we already have. We may even have a lot of things that years ago we could only dream of, but we look ahead and strive forward instead of looking back and comparing with how life used to be. Okay, that's important. Um, and this card highlights to you the importance and of, of, you know, appreciating what you already have. And though some days it might feel hard to find something to be grateful about, you know, if you look hard enough, you'll find something to be grateful about. We Just the fact that we got up this morning, we were able to eat breakfast, we were able to get dressed, and here we are, you know, that's enough to be appreciative of. On your very worst days, there are still things in your life that you can appreciate and perhaps even use to get through those terrible days. You might still have a safe home to go to. You know, you have a roof over your head, food on the table, 
you know, even small things like the smell of fresh air when you open the window in the morning. If you think of smaller things and focus on all these little things, you know, it's going to raise your vibration too. And then the last card or the end of the week, card number three, okay, is generosity and egoism. And yeah, we were just talking about the ego where it's never satisfied, okay? It wants more, more, more. And the ego is only happy with material things when, you know, truly your happiness is on the inside. Uh, to me, success isn't, you know, acquiring tons of things. Success is feeling comfortable in my own skin, feeling inner peace. And I don't mean that to sound cheesy, but feeling at ease and feeling peaceful inside instead of feeling anxious and depressed or, you know, overworked, you know, a sense of peace and calmness is the true success for me. That, that's what I measure success in, how comfortable you are with being your true authentic self. And do you have peace in your heart? That's important. And that's something money can't buy. And, you know, what this card is saying, you know, are you truly giving without expecting anything in return? A lot of transactions we make, whether it be with acquaintances or loved ones, often have a hidden agenda rather just, than just giving for the sake of giving. It might be to show someone how thoughtful we are, to receive something in return, or to make ourselves look superior. And that's what narcissistic people do. Everything with a narcissist is a transaction, okay? If they give you a gift, you best be sure that they're going to ask for a favor or expect you to do something for them. OK, they don't do things just to be thoughtful and they don't feel the joy in giving like an honest, authentic person would. They use gifts and transactions to get what they want from you. It's a form of manipulation. Gifts are not sincere from a narcissist, but I digress. <laughs> Thoughts like, why isn't anybody thinking about me or I wish someone would show me how special I am might have crashed your mind. But have you tried to reverse the thought? you know, and, and give to others uh, what you're seeking. We're often so caught up in our own minds and what we want that we forget to give with our heart to the people we're closest to, what, you know, we expect and wish from them. Um, do you know someone who seems to give to you only to expect something in return? Okay, you know, you don't want to be surrounded by people like that. Like I said, that is a narcissistic trait. Um, their heart is not true. And, you know, keep a lookout for these people in your life and in your surroundings that just take, take, take. They always have a hidden agenda, trust me. So generosity is about letting go of the ego and giving with your whole heart to show that you truly care and want someone else to feel good. You don't give with the understanding that you're going to get something in return. I never do. You give because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel that you showed another be a human being some kindness and you wanted to make them happy, make their day, acknowledge their birthday, whatever. Or just show them that you appreciate them. Wow, what an interesting week we're going to have here. So you may be giving a gift at the end of the week. Um, you may not, uh, you know, at the beginning of the week, want to give somebody advice if they come to you and just want to be heard or want a shoulder to cry on. Step back and ask yourself, did this person ask me to remedy their situation? Are they wanting me to give advice? I do that, you know, all the time. I used to just jump in and think, oh, this person's coming to me for assistance. They're telling me their problems. I need to think of a solution. But no, no, no. A lot of us don't want to hear that ourselves. And I'm sure other people don't want the advice either. So think before you give advice in the beginning of the week. Okay. And in the middle of the week, be grateful for even the smallest things you have, like a roof over your head and food on the table. And more things to be grateful are going to show up in your life. And last but not least, at the end of the week, give from your heart. Even just a thank you letter or a flower or inviting someone over, you know, for dinner or, you know, just showing someone that you care about them by giving them a small token of your appreciation goes a real long way. And of course, we're not going to expect anything returned. We're going to do it because giving feels good. It feels genuine and sincere when it's done with your heart. Beautiful week. If you've enjoyed this message, I would really appreciate it if you would kindly hit the like button to help this channel get more exposure. 
and to allow it to grow so I could continue bringing you these messages. Share the video with someone who needs to hear the message. Drop a comment down below to let me know if this resonates with you. And above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.